Hi, I'm Lee. I run Bush Scout in Hereford and Worcester Scout County, and this is my 60 second scouter. What book had the most impact on your life? I must admit I was a fan of self-help books early on in my life um, and uh, the book Feel the Fear and Do It Anyway probably had the biggest impact um, and in fact almost sent me too far the other way so now if I'm afraid of something I dive into it no matter how afraid of it I probably should be. <laughs> right, um, favourite scout game and why? I, I capture the flag, it's a classic, it gets the young people outside, it gets them running around and it needs minimal intervention from leaders. So um, it's win-win-win isn't it on that one. What does your perfect breakfast look like? Um, I should imagine this has been the answer for a lot of people but you cannot beat a bacon sandwich as long as it's cooked on an open fire and you're eating it outside on a Sunday morning having had about three hours sleep. Um, with a big cup of coffee by the side of it. Um, it does not get better than that. Sun shining outside, perfection. Uh, what is your least and best campfire song? Oh, I was just chatting to Mike about this. The best one is one I learned from Scoutadelic, which was Down By The Bay. I love singing it. Um, I think it's got some great actions. So go and learn it on Scoutadelic on brand. Um, <laughs> and my least favorite one is, uh, oh, the, the peanut it just goes found a peanut it just goes on and on and on and never seems to end i i it saps my soul what is the best food combo you've tried in scouting okay so a cub camp a couple of years ago um the cub leader detroit decided to try and make a sandwich that i couldn't eat so it was ham jam and uh cheese um and actually it was quite enjoyable but um uh, i enjoyed uh upsetting all the kids because they thought it would be disgusting but it was just the same as a strawberry chutney was all I pretended it was. <laughs> uh, what do we got? Is there a hobby or skill you'd love to learn but haven't yet? Clearly, given the theme of this uh, episode, I, I really enjoy my bushcraft. Um, the one I'm currently working on uh, is probably hand drill starting a fire. That's really difficult, hard work. Um, and you need the the hands of a rigger to be able to uh, pull it off so um, i'm not quite there yet but i'll keep working on it what is one thing you never leave home without oh good one i always have vaseline in my pocket because i have very chapped lips um, and it's very useful for starting a fire if you ever get stuck somewhere it's multi-purpose and keeps me looking this beautiful Favourite scouting badge and why? Well, I'm going to be talking a lot about Bush Scout, I expect, in this episode. Um, uh, in Bush Scout, they have uh, the, the necker that you have to earn. Um, and there's also uh, a gold badge on the back um, uh, that you get given once you've uh, proven uh, you have a, a certain level of ability. Um, and it took quite a lot of work to get. Um, and it gave me a, a lot of pride to get that badge uh, and it's very special to me um, so uh, and it looks spectacular as well it's got lovely gold thread around the outside so um, it's a great looking badge and I really had to work hard to earn it so it's really really good what do you take with you on camp my hammock I um, if you've never tried to camp in a hammock do it um, I'm uh, more than 40 years old now and I always used to wake up with a bad back in the mornings I started sleeping in a hammock and it's cured everything it's the best night's sleep I have is when I'm in a hammock just go and try them they're amazing what is bushcraft okay so um, I could give a really long answer to this I'll try and keep it slow, as quick as I can um, so bushcraft is uh, learning the skills uh, to keep yourself um, safe and alive in uh, the wilderness um, that sounds quite daunting um, within scouting it's more about uh, learning to cook on a fire learning to light a fire learning to safely use the tools that will help keep you alive what's the most random fact you know oh there's too many of them <laughs> in any given situation i usually know a random fact uh, i can't think of any right now who inspires you uh, th there's a man terry longhurst he uh, was uh, one of the uh, originators of uh, Bush Scout. Um, I think he's got the right idea about scouting. I think he's um, created something uh, along with um, Andy, um, very special in Bush Scout. Um, and I hope you think the same after I've talked about Bush Scout a bit more. What is your best scouting memory? 
Uh, there's so many. Um, there's so many times where um, I've helped a young person uh, come down an abseiling tower, uh, taught someone how to crack an egg, um, sat round a fire at the end of the day with everyone totally shattered from an amazing a day of adventure and excitement. Um, it's, it's all amazing. Scouting has been amazing to me.